Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. It has been a few days, I know, because I've been extremely freaking busy on the run-up to Christmas and there have been several projects that I've started in your absence, if you like, and also a few issues that have come up over the past few days, which meant it was very difficult for me to pick up the camera. But, nevertheless, I'm here now so let me give you a rundown and an update on exactly what we've been doing. So here is some plywood. Now you fellas might not know, but at home I've ripped out the old bar and we've ripped out everything in the porch because it's a mess and we've started to put down a subfloor. Here's a little clip. Hello folks, I don't know if this is going to be a new vlog or just an update to an existing, but uh, you know I really grabbed the bull by the horns uh, today and well we cracked on with this plywood over uh, 3x2 if you like 70 by 45 mil CLS and um, put the subfloor down so we can have a nice area to be working in and hopefully a kegerator build which I hope is going to live here at some point but if I didn't get the camera out now, then we would not have documented it. And, well, if it's not on video, it didn't happen. So, same sort of layout all the way down to yonder end down there. Two boards, so we've got four, almost five metres run to the door down there. A metre or two to come up to this end here. And as you can see, underneath where we've got, uh, ignore the damp, but where we've got timber joists to be levelled out. I've been using this old floor tile to create packers and then I've kind of glued them in place so they don't move. And then we've been stuffing the gap with 100mm rock wool insulation. So I've just got to cut a bit more plywood to shape and chuck it down in the corner. And then we can kind of start work on a couple of um, shelving units. I took inspiration from a video that I saw on YouTube just last week actually. Uh, is it Barnum Homebrew? I've just subscribed to his channel. He made the uh, a giant kegerator basically and it looked really really good. Um, I think it was Dudes Brew who uh, mentioned it and that's how I found the video. Anyway, he's built a brewery. I'm not building a brewery. We're just trying to make an expansion to the kitchen more than anything else, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I like the way he built the worktops and uh, everything else. So I'm going to crib his idea a little bit. But, yeah, this is where we're at so far. So we'll carry on, I guess. And then, obviously, this now is what remains of that... Uh, that subfloor build, the subfloor's finished and uh, because we don't have a bar at home I thought it necessary to build one so here you can see a uh, chest freezer which I picked up off eBay just last week now funnily enough it's the same model I believe as what new to homebrew Tom has got and guess where I picked it up from yeah Chesterfield can you believe it? So I don't know if this is the same model as yours, Tom, but uh, you'll let me know if it is or it isn't. Anyway, we put a collar on. And with that collar, I've weighed it down with some sacks of grain. And I'm not bothered about painting it or anything like that because it's gonna sit inside this. So that is going to be the bar. So it's basically just some shiplap tongue and groove, you know, the house that the lesbians built, and uh, some CLS, painted black, really. Have I just put a mark on there with my hands, yeah. Anyway, it's on some casters, and the fridge is gonna fit in the back of it like so, and then we're gonna have a bar top and a tower, and then it should hold four or so kegs in there and a gas bottle on the back. And then we have been brewing, so I've been working Saturday and Sunday to come in and brew. But yesterday we had a fault on the 
one of the heating elements so as I was knocking out as they call it aka transferring into fermenter I noticed some smoke coming out of the boil kettle what had happened is as the level of the liquid has gone past the bottom of the elements there is a float level switch in there to turn the solid state relays off should I forget to isolate them now I had turned them off on the control panel here so that also turns the solid state relays off but I'd left both of these main isolators on and I noticed there was a leakage current you see that's 19 amps that's the HLT pulls 19 amps there was a leakage current on line 2 and line 3 of 8 amps so half power feeding to the element in there which I had to pull out because when it had burnt it scorched sugars that were on the um, on the outside of the element the element survived thankfully but the solid state relay is faulty we're still going to use it today it's not a problem but it's just got a leakage current so when I'm finished I have to make sure we isolate on the wall up here to prevent any further um, accidents or mishaps so we're brewing again today and tomorrow and the next day it is absolutely hectic and uh, Gemma's just arrived and she's brought little Reggie Roo while she does a bit of casking for us so say hello to your fans Reg oh look at that little face you don't like being in here do you well we let you out but you wee and poo everywhere so we need to be able to control you a little bit sunshine of course Chance he's not as incontinent as little Reggie Roo so he's allowed to go upstairs and lay in his bed aren't you mate oh my goodness we come to say hello old timer going a bit grey aren't you son yes he is he's a good boy and here's his progeny hey little Reggie Roo anyway let's get some brewing finished and a uh, little bit more work on this keezer that's it I was kegerator keezer keezer from a freezer kegerator from a refrigerator that's the way I remember it so anyway I put a collar on no screw no screws no screws but just glue no screws but glue so we've used Gorilla Glue weighed it down with I've taken a couple of sacks off but there's 125 kilos on top of there moment of truth I'm going to take this off and see if it has actually stuck so I glued on these little well screwed on these little strips of timber just to try and stop it from moving overnight with the weight of those grain sacks because obviously I wasn't going to be here to readjust it if it did move that one seems to have glued itself to the wood there we go same here looks like that one's glued oh god we'll come back to that and then this one there we go so let's take the top off again don't matter what condition this is in so the freezer these are 159 pounds at Curry's but there's a weight for them like I said I found one on eBay for 90 quid so I drove over for it oh yeah look at that I think that's got it I don't think that's going anywhere so I'm hoping it's the same model as Tom's um, because this seems to work very well but obviously we're doing something a little bit different we're going to be turning it into a big bar stroke uh, keezer so that's the plan right well that's fine next job is going to be to clean up this bit of glue uh, put the lid back on and then we have to stick a piece of timber to the lid and make sure that it opens when it's being put into into its surround and then we can just slide it away from the wall open the lid drop the kegs in and also because I'm wanting to put uh, 50 litre and 30 litre kegs into the keezer 
I'm thinking about making a pulley system to sit above it so I don't have to lift 60 kilos up and over because that is over four foot high. Well, it is actually about four foot high. Yeah, so that's a long way to lift a, a keg and dump it in. So we'll see, that'll be another project though. Anyway, let's clean this freezer up. I keep wanting to say keezer. Let's clean this freezer up and uh, well, press on essentially with this little project. It's not a keezer build. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. So we've got the boil on the go. The mash tun has been dug out and we are brewing beer. As you can tell by the steam from the condenser stack. And while I've been waiting for that to come up to a boil, I've just taken some tongue and groove and uh, made like a herringbone almost style top for the keezer. So it's basically the same design as what I used for the spice rack that I made earlier on in the year. Centerpiece and then obviously 45 degree cuts on all of the uh, pieces of tongue and groove. Pretty simple, just takes a little bit of time really to, to do it all. And then all I'm gonna do is push this lot together, get it all glued in place, and uh, just finish the edges, tidy them up a little bit. And then hopefully, we will be able to uh, just stain it and put some varnish on. I wonder if I should finish the edges like that and have it extend out a little bit and recut these these pieces, I don't know yet. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, it looks really nice. So the next thing for me to build is gonna be the tower in the center where the taps are going to be housed, connected to, if you like. But she's coming on. Well, we've totally cracked on, folks. We've got the fridge in the back, as you can see. We've got the lid on, we've got it stained. If I open her up, you'll see that we've got inside loads of space. It's cleaning out. Uh, black frame, white, panelling, and then this is going to get a thick, thick coat of varnish on it. So that should be solid when it's done. And then I've made kind of uh, Fred Flintstone's house, if you like. So we've got a little off cut from the material, the ash that we made the bar and the benches in the pub with. So I've used that for a top. Three taps and an STC on there. Then all the rest of it, I'm gonna paint up with this blackboard paint. A Little bit of architrave, but unfortunately I didn't have enough. So we're a little bit short there. I might just pop that off and change it in the future, but it's on for now. You can't really notice it once it's painted anyway. And that is gonna sit on top of there. And that's pretty much it. I've kind of built it in two days. I know, I'm sorry I didn't get all the footage, but like I say, it's been absolutely hectic on the run up to Christmas. And, uh, well, I'm still here at 10 past six, and I'm not finished yet, as you can hear. We're cleaning. Can you hear that? That's the CIP pump on the boil kettle going. Whirring round. Um, in the back of this, I've just kind of got a few uh, little noggins to screw everything together. Then we're going to screw that to the back of here, and then there'll be a back plate that goes onto it. And then on the inside, I'm basically just going to stuff it with some rock wool insulation. I think that'll do the trick. Or maybe just insulate the pipes individually. I'm not sure. Uh, because it may kind of be open a little bit to the uh, inside of the kegerator. We shall see. Either way, there's not going to be a lot of beer in the lines because I'm just going to be using the 3 16ths to run out of the keg lines and into the back of the taps. So you don't hold a lot of beer in that 3 16ths line, even if you've got four or five feet of it. Anyway, blackboard paint and then maybe when it's dry, we'll be able to just throw it up on the top so we can have a quick look before we go homebound. And there we kind of have it, folks. 
that's uh, I'm not sure about the white on the top maybe it'll look better with the taps on but that's that's it essentially uh, there's a skirt to go on around the bottom just to cover up the wheels I had the black paintbrush out actually I could have finished that bit off but never mind um, I suppose if I change my mind on the colour scheme it's just a case of whipping out a paintbrush not too difficult but I think it looks the part once it's got the uh, taps on there and we've written what beers are on on the chalkboard it's going to do the job it's functional it's moderately decorative <laughs> I think it looks all right you know you'd get away with having that in your office space or man cave for sure whether the wife had let you put it in the lounge that's another question altogether but I think it looks a hell of a lot better than what I had in the porch previously and of course uh, this is mobile and uh, purpose built whereas before it was kind of making the most of a bad space anyway folks short and sweet just how I like it these days and uh, we'll wrap up and we'll come back hopefully for another vlog tomorrow if I get chance and maybe a bit of an update on this maybe we'll put some taps on it who knows and uh, yeah definitely got to do the wiring anyway I'm gonna shoot off have a good one and I'll see you on the next vlog cheers <laughs>